Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody. So let's take a look again on euro currency as usual. Currently we have really uh, extended background for discussion on the forex market. This is not only the events that we've got this week, but also and mostly the events that are uh, coming on the next week. So next it will be really big challenge to every trader. Uh, we have a meeting of the Bank of England, Fed Reserve, uh, non-farm parole release so it will be really tough week for trading but also it, it should be very interesting and this week as usual in the, in the report we have taken an in-depth view on the recent data on the performance of the market why this has happened what to expect in next week and um, well based on the fundamental and technical situation that we have currently we think that chances on a downside acceleration stand extremely high for euro currency uh, but a few reasons from the fundamental background well uh, european central bank statement was announced uh, was anemic and currently markets expect maybe mine rate change only in the summer 2022 this is at the best so um, this is absolutely well your currency, your, your, your central central bank stands right now as an outlier to any other central bank of the developed countries, especially to the rival, which is the Bank of England, its nearest neighbor. So, from the technical point of view, overall situation stands also a bit uh, tricky it's because those of you who read our researches. You probably remember the picture on the monthly chart where we have a bearish reversal month in September. This week on the performance that we have here, we've got a reversal week on the weekly chart as well. And this combination promised nothing good to the euro currency even in the short term. And uh, why the technical picture? It seems that October month months could become just minor pause after the September reversal. And currently this momentum of the September could start working, pushing price of the euro currency lower. So would not exclude the chance that in medium term perspective, we will see 110 level, while the nearest support on the monthly chart next support stands 113. So this is will be the next level that ta that the euro will tending if it, it breaks down the 115 lows. So we have also some other minor things to discuss on the weekly chart, some other bearish patterns, but you could read about this in the report if you would like to. Well, speaking uh, on the coming week in the Fed statement, currently the wide opinion exists that once Fed will announce the tapering, the situation will reverse as investors will start to close positions on the fact. So, as you know, the open on the rumor, close on the fact. We think that this is not the case currently. It's because this reversal already has happened previously, if you remember. On the last statement, the last meeting in September, uh, once it has been announced, you already have shown reaction on the market on this statement. It was to the upside from him right from here. And second, currently, this is not the question of the tapering announcement because it's already fully priced in in the current level. This is the question of the future assessment from the Fed on the press conference and from the Jerome Powell in particular. In the current situation, when you see the consumption hits the new highs, when inflation beats the records, we think that uh, it's really very small chance that Jerome Powell will not bring some more hawkish tones in the statement. Maybe it will not be very obvious and evident, but the statement, as we suggest, should be more hawkish. Um, and that should support the overall performance that we see currently. So we do not expect that uh, the Fed 
will become the reason for reversal in the market. That's our view currently on the common event. Non-farm proposals in particular, well, it will not be as important because it will be released just after the Fed. And uh, reports become more important once they lead to the next uh, Fed meeting and uh, released before the next meeting. But when it released after the meeting, well, it has mixed results. So, of course, investors will keep an eye on it. But the effect probably will be a bit muted on the uh, background of the Fed meeting. So that's what we have uh, in the two words uh, on the fundamental background. Technically, well, overall picture looks bearish, as you can see. Currently, actually, guys, we have the classic example of the Judd Napoli trend trading process, when we have the weekly bearish trend, and we could fade the bullish trend on a daily against major FIB level once the reaction has happened. And that we see currently. So uh, based on this approach, this is typical minesweeper entry tactic. We need to control two things. First of all, we need to get turning daily trend in the mirrors as well, which is important. Second, we could watch for some intraday levels where we could consider taking the short position. So that's actually a really simple task to us on the coming week. Besides, here we have very clear pattern. This is bearish engulfing, as you can see. And we will trade it as usual. So with the pullback, we are considering taking the short position and the validation pattern stands right here and so on. Uh, finally, on the euro currency, we do not close our mind to possible sharp reversal. That occasionally could happen because, well, daily trend still stands bullish and uh, market could bring and show significant volatility around this area. But uh, theoretically, we can't ignore that it still might be the head and shoulders, right? So it could be left shoulder head uh, if market will start up reaction and well, will change something surprisingly. This also could happen. So we keep mind open to that and uh, well, it will not be absolute total surprise. But at the same time, it makes, well, no difference to the trading process. Because if euro will start turning to something bullish, our passion probably will become the part of some bigger passion. And first market will have to erase this passion and, try and jump above 117 area to get at least some chances and to form at least some background for bullish scenario. Uh, that's why in the current circumstance, although we totally do not exclude it, but we at the same time wake up to the facts and understand that uh, the chances for that more phantom rather than real. And uh, this is the reason why we will dealing with the fa with the patterns that we already have in place, which is engulfing. And then we will see what will happen. So uh, the process of the trading, we suggest initially, uh, it should be something like that. So 116, 159.5, where it looks right now interesting uh, for position taking because market is not at ever sold at any time frame. So retracement should not be too significant and probably 116, it should be enough. Also, it's can see it will be former consolidation. So market could try to retest and then start downward action. If we will get it and if pullback will be relatively fast, uh, we could we will get also the brand by the sell passion on our chart. That's actually what we intend to keep an eye on in the beginning of the week. Our bullish setup yesterday on Friday, as you can see here, well, as we warned you with the fast dropping ignore it do not take any position retracement should be gradual and you can see what the acceleration market is shown here so it's definitely all chance for position taking has been erased because market even hasn't stopped at any support area that we've got here so that's our view on the euro currency for more details you probably could read the report where we have more technical issues for discussion and more in-depth view on the fundamental background